Hey, what's up? Facebook. I hate that that fan's over my head, but you know what? This is where I have to go live today. And hopefully my boys, like, leave me alone for a few minutes. I don't know. We'll see. This is so weird because my thing is upside down. I'm in my bedroom. Okay. I think I look on this side now. Okay. All right. Hey, guys, let me know if you could hear me um, coming to you live from my home. Welcome to my bedroom. <laughs> Why am I hiding out my bedroom? Because my kids are downstairs driving me crazy. And it's Tuesday. And I said, I'm going to work on becoming more consistent. Keyword consistent. We're coming up live on Tuesdays. Uh, if you've been following me, you know that I have took a little step back um, and kind of regrouped, been, um, been looking at doing some new stuff, uh, coming up here, kind of changing directions. Don't worry. I'm not leaving my network marketing company or my team, but just, uh, in business altogether, I have been, uh, running myself then running five different, um, five different businesses. And so, figuring out what's right for me. But I wanted to come to you live today because this is about you, not about me, um, and give you just a little Transformation Tuesday tip to help you transform your business. Um, I see a lot of people out there talk about, you know, what do I post? What kind of content? What kind of, what do I talk about, you know, when doing Facebook Lives? And I know that many of you um, have some fear around doing Facebook Lives, and I get it. Um, but also, you know, how do I approach my warm market? So this, uh, this Facebook live today, this one, I'm going to be targeting more, uh, talking more about network marketing. Okay. So, Hey guys, how are you? Uh, can you guys hear me? Okay. Can you just give me a thumbs up? Let me know if you could hear me. Okay. I have like these super old earbuds on. I'm hiding out for my kids in our bedroom. You want to say hi to Lola? Let's look at this. Look at her. Look at can you guys see her? Can you guys see that cuteness down here? Can you see her? She is passed out. Look at her. She's in like La La Land, you guys. She's she's counting sheep. <laughs> but she's so dang cute. I can't help it. I cannot help it. All right. So here we go. How many of you are in network marketing? I want you to drop me a one if you are in network marketing. Um... And as you guys are putting ones, I'm going to say hello. Hey, Denise. What's up, girlfriend? Denise, make sure you reach out to Wendy and get on my calendar because I did not see it come through, okay? Uh, Corey, what's up? Hey, Erin. How are you, girl? Valerie, good morning. Good, or I shouldn't say morning, guys. It's afternoon. Good, good afternoon. Good afternoon. You guys, share this out, too, because I'm going to give some really simple strategies because, you guys, people are really overcomplicating this. So the number one thing you want to look at, okay, I'm getting warns. Good morning, good morning, good afternoon. I'm getting mornings and afternoons. Um, so wherever you're tuning in from, good morning, good afternoon, and for some of you, probably even good evening. <laughs> All right, so first things first, you want to look at what type of product are you selling, right? Right? Like really simple stuff here, guys. Oh my God, this hair is awful. It's pouring outside, so my hair is like soaking wet. Okay, so this is a hat day. All right, so what products are you guys selling? I want you to drop me in the comments. Let me know. What, do you, what are you guys selling? And don't be like, I'm not selling, I'm sharing. Let's get over it. You guys are selling. You're selling. But there's a way to sell with style. Yes, there's a way to sell all right, cut out there a second. I got to keep this down. There's a way to sell with solutions, okay? So what are you selling? Let me know. Is it health and wellness? Is it oils? Is it travel? Is it uh, financial? Is it real estate? Is it, um, what else is out there? Makeup, hair products, skincare products, right? I feel like network marketing is like taking over the world. Don't you guys feel that way? Isn't that funny? Coffee, health and wellness. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right. What's up, Keila? How are you, sweetie? Um, I will get back to your message as soon as I'm, I'm done with this. All right. So what you want to do is you want to look at the product. Now, you might say, well, you know what? My company has 
kind of a lot of different solutions. We have solutions to weight loss. We have solutions to anti-aging. We have solutions to, you know, all this stuff. You guys, I swear to God, my husband knows when I go live. Um, Always messaging me. So that's really cool because that's more content that you can share and create around, okay? So I'm going to take health and wellness just for the sake of argument because there's a lot to do around health and wellness. So what you want to do is pull out a piece of paper, okay? And you want to like draw out an umbrella. So you put health and wellness at the top and then you draw like different prongs, right? Like different legs coming out like an umbrella. And then you start to mastermind. You start to brainstorm, okay? And so you can talk about food. You could talk about weight loss. You could talk about how dieting dieting doesn't work. You could talk about uh, importance of sleep. You could talk about how to gain more energy, how to lower your stress, how to improve your skin texture, right? Because that's hydration. Like there's so much around health and wellness. You could give exercise tips. You could talk about... Um, the, the brain gut connection, right? Like honestly, one thing I recommend doing, and I think I learned this from Ray Higdon a couple years ago, is he said, if you go into the grocery store and you pull out some of those magazines, like these copywriters are getting paid like so much money, right? Ridiculous amount of money. And really all you're doing is you're swiping the magazines and you're, you you're like able to utilize those headlines. I mean, tweak it a little, right? Like make it your own, but take like the content and that's the content that you share and you give value around. You guys, like this is not difficult. If it's skincare, there's a lot of things you could talk about with skincare. You could talk about the importance of water. You could, again, talk about the importance of sleep. You could talk about um, like, Uh, the importance of collagen and why you need it. You could talk about, like, figure out what it is that you want to talk about around your, um, like, what kind of benefits. I guess this is the way to put it. Think about the benefits that your products can offer, and then you want to create content around that. Now, I am not saying that every Facebook Live and every post should be about this, but there is a rule. I would say at least... Out of the seven days a week, you at least want to do, and some people might combat me and say, well, you want to do it once a day. You guys, I think that's too much. I think it's spammy. I think it's way too much. Um, Oh, my God. I should probably put a post out there because I haven't done one in a couple weeks um, for my product, but I'm I'm sharing more of the opportunity, okay? So figure out what it is that you're looking to do. Are you looking to get more customers? Are you looking to get more people in for the opportunity? If it's for the opportunity, then you want to talk about the importance of network marketing and what it can provide. You want to talk about, you know, um, it, you you want to make an invitation. It's as simple as that. Like I did a Facebook Live before and I talked about the profession of network marketing because there's a lot of misconceptions and I wanted to squash a lot of those misconceptions and Literally, like I just left a call to action at the end because it's the most important part is your call to action that if people were tired of commuting, if people were tired of doing the nine to five, if people were tired of dropping their kids off at daycare and they wanted another solution to possibly be able to replace the income that they're currently making to get in touch with me because I don't know if it's going to be right for them. Only they can decide that. All I could do is provide them the information. You guys, like, do you see how simple that is of just being able? Because you guys, you don't know if it's going to be right for somebody. You really don't, right? Um, and I had people join me off that Facebook Live. And I think it's all in the presentation. And sometimes we, we, we overthink it. You know, we talk about creating curiosity because it's so important because we don't want to spam. But then if somebody messages us and says, what are you doing? What's the company? I have people that freak out that are like, they're asking me what, what I'm doing. What's the company? And I'm like, tell them, tell them you're in a private conversation. You want to definitely, don't be weird. I guess that's the number one thing I'm trying to say is don't be 
weird. If you continue, yes, the posting should be creating curiosity. But when you're one-on-one and you're bringing it into Messenger, tell, let them know if they're asking you and just say this. Hey, Sue, so yeah, I'm happy to share more with you. So the name of my company is X, and this is what we provide. Um, I love to learn more about what you're doing. By the way, have you ever heard of this? Have you ever heard of my company before? So it's an opportunity for you to extend the conversation because you always, always want to leave them with a question, you guys. Does that make sense? If that makes sense, drop me a uh, drop me a heart emoji in the comment section because if that makes sense that's and you like this then let me know all right sorry i think i hear the boys coming oh my gosh so okay so that's it so you go and check out um the magazines at your grocery store you guys google is my best friend google i am literally on google all the time so let's say i want to do a facebook live on mindset and I'm like, okay, well, mindset's so broad. Let me go to Google and like, what is it I'm feeling right now that I feel like I can help somebody else because I'm going through it. And so I'm going to learn in the process and I'm, as I'm going to teach somebody else. So you'll hear me often if I'm, if I'm going to go do a Facebook live about procrastination, it's because I'm, pro- I'm procrastinating. If you go and teach what you're learning, you will absorb it so much faster, so much more. So what I do Facebook Lives on is exactly what I'm feeling, okay? I don't just do Facebook Lives on um, giving network marketing tips. I might talk about affiliate marketing. I might talk about being an entrepreneur and and running your own home-based business. I might talk about being a mompreneur. I might talk about mindset and the way I'm feeling at that moment and to see if anyone else is out there resonating with me. I might talk about a book. I might see something in a book. Right, so Google's my best friend. Magazines and books, I swear to God, are like the best places to get content. I don't listen to too many podcasts personally. um, I don't. What I like is YouTube, and I'll go and listen to Les Brown. I'll go and listen to Mel Robbins, and I'll go and listen to Lisa Nichols. I have found like my people that. Resi- that I resonate with them, I don't overload myself. I don't have time to sit on an hour long podcast, just like I don't have time to sit on an hour to a 90 minute webinar anymore. Okay. So, um, you have to find what's right for you. All right. So, okay. Now, um, you're, you're discovering, you're making your umbrella, you're discovering different topics you can talk about. Not all the Facebook lives are not going to all be about, you know, just your product, right? But give some value, get some, give some education. Not all your call to actions are going to be, hey, join my company or, you know, hit me up if you want to learn more about the product. It could be as simple as, hey, did this resonate with you? I'd love to hear your thoughts. What resonated with you most? Drop it in the comment section. It could be as simple as that to just increase your engagement, all right, and start uh, forming those relationships. Um, and then to kind of just finish this up, um, you know, treat your warm market like sometimes we could get, because we're like, oh, friends and family, right? We all know friends and family can be tough, but Treat your warm market like you're selling like candy bars, right? Like people love candy bars. People love cookies. Like pretend like you're selling freaking cookies, <laughs> okay? Um, it wouldn't be weird if you're like, hey, would you like to buy my can- my can- my candy bar? I have, you know, um, dark chocolate with caramel. I have almonds with chocolate. I have, oh, and I have these uh, delicious cookies. Like if you're selling Girl Scout cookies, like you're like, I have Thin Mints. I have macaroons. I have the peanut butter ones, right? So you don't have to be weird about it. The only reason you're weird about it is because in your head, you know that there's an attachment to a commission. So you need to let that ego go. You need to get out of your own way if you truly believe that your product will be good for somebody, right? Because we're not out there just spamming anybody. But if you do, if you are just starting out and you're looking to your warm market to help you, you could just say, hey, um, I'm selling these products that are really helping people with X, Y, and Z. 
can I count on you to support me and at least try it? There's a 30-day money-back guarantee. It's as simple as that. And the person's going to say, okay, well, yeah, maybe. Um, What kind of products do you have? Like, can I learn more about the products? And then you say, yeah, sure. So, you know, it's a health and wellness company. The reason that I resonate with it or I enjoy it is because I got X results and what I really like about it is that I, I was so tired of dieting. I was so tired of, you know, sh- this is where you go in and you share your story. Short, 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 short. Remember, you're not the hero in the story. They are. Make them the hero. Cast the vision for them. Talk about the benefits. So you're saying, well, I was so sick of dieting. You know, I've tried the Atkins. I did the low calories. I, I was killing myself at the gym. And I don't really have all the hours at the gym. So listen, I um, found these products. I tried it. And I was just, I'll be honest, I was skeptical and I was just shocked because I, I lost, you know, X amount of inches or I lost X amount of pounds. And now um, I feel really good and I just want to share them with people. So we have a couple different options. I can send you over some information, take a look at it, and I'll follow back up with you later on today. You guys, is that like simple? If, if you guys like got value from that, can I get a thumbs up? Because this is how simple my conversations go with people. And I even say it might not be good, like it might not be right for you, but I could have swore you said before that you suffered with uh, not being able to lose weight or I thought of you because you said you struggled with energy before. Like you're my really good friend and I know how it is, right? So you're finding, you're resonating with them. So just get out of your way. Talk benefits, give the value, talk the benefits, tell them that you don't know if it's going to be right for them, and then just offer them the solution and let them make the choice. That is it. So once they make the choice, whether it's yes or no, and hopefully if it's, if it's no, you understand how to overcome objections. And if you don't, I teach this in my rapid enrollment system course. So if you'd like that, put res at the bottom if you in the comments if you want to check it out. But here, this is how I will help you overcome this. So if they go, well, I just don't know if I have the time to follow this. And you say, well, honestly, it's if you can eat, you have time to do this. You guys, this is how I talk to prospects. Like it because that's not the real reason. So what is the real reason? And you just say, listen, if you could eat, you could do this. Like, cause honestly, it's super simple to fit into your lifestyle, right? Like anyone has, I'm sorry, but if anybody has the time to do anything, if they think it's important. So you want to discover for them if they do want to lose weight. And if so, how many pounds do they want to lose? Are we talking 10, 20, 30? And why do you want to lose weight? Why do you want to lose the 10, 20, 30 pounds? So it's your discovery phase. Your discovery phase needs to happen first. So if they say yes, in that original conversation, if they say yes, they'll take a look at the products. Ask them the questions of, okay, cool. But before I send this, I just want to ask you, so are you interested in weight loss? Are you interested in more energy? Are you interested in better skin? Are you interested in um, maybe having a supplemental income? Whatever your conversation is with them, whether you're going product or opportunity, ask them why. Ask them why, okay? Um, So you guys, I'm going to leave it there. I can't believe my kids left me alone to do this. This is like amazing. Um, But if this helped, please put put yes in the comments. Let me know or give me a thumbs up. Actually, give me a thumbs up. Let me know. Um, And share it out. Share, 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 and share. All right, guys, listen, have an awesome uh, Tuesday. I will see you all real soon. If you have any sort of questions for me, you could reach out, uh, leave them in the comments. You could personally message me. I get all my personal messages here. And uh, thank you, Erin, for sharing. I appreciate it. Thanks, Michelle. You guys, I'm happy that this helped. And like I said, if you know anyone struggling and like op- overcomplicating this whole process and d- just let them know, share this, or just tag them into the comments here if you don't want to share it out. Just tag them here and have them watch this because um, I, I, I see this all the time and I hear this all the time of people just unclear on what kind of content to provide. And again, you want to mix your content up. Um, Not all my content is about my products or leading to my opportunity. 
um, at all. So I would say, you know, if you're doing the post, I don't know if I answer this question. I would do probably like, God, three posts a week, maybe, um, about product or maybe two about product and one about like the opportunity, like a power post, like sharing out a testimonial or, um, like a story. I love story posts, like creating a story around someone's success and sharing that out and then leaving the call to action, um, like, hey, if you resonate with this, is if this is something that you would love as well as, you know, what you see Shelly created here as a stay-at-home mom, just put yes in the comment section and I'll reach out to you and we'll connect and let's see if this is right for you. Who knows, right? So again, that would be like um, like a text post, right? So if it's a if it's a power post, as we call it, and a testimonial of a success story, you could put Shelly's picture with her kids. You could put Shelly's like testimonial and you would write above her testimonial like, hey, I just wanted to share Shelly's testimonial with you and how powerful it is that you're able to create this amazing income from part time as a stay at home mom. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, so then you're sharing the story about Shelly. And then at the end, you're like, hey, if you would love to learn more about this and how this could be you too, drop yes in the comments and let's connect. So that this is people say, Julie, how did you grow six figures in a year when you started network marketing? My very first year, you guys, this is how. How did I go multiple six figures in 22 months? This is how. How did I come into a brand new network marketing company one year ago and surpass what I was making in five years at my previous company? This is how. This is how, and because of attraction marketing and curiosity marketing and developing relationships and creating my own brand. This is how. You guys love Tim's stuff over there? Oh my God, look at this. This He needs to clean. That's his dresser, guys. Guys are such, oh, they're so messy. Sorry, I'm like talking to you and I'm seeing his stuff here and it's driving me nuts. Um, anyways, scroll moment. Hope that helped. You guys have an awesome Tuesday and I'll talk to you all real soon. Um, thank you, Corey. I appreciate that. All right, bye.